Good morning, Kids Zone. This is Megan, your children's ministry director from Pleasant View Church, and we're so excited that you're back for our second virtual lesson. If you weren't here last week, we'll be using a resource from Life Church, and that video will begin immediately following this intro. So I know I mentioned last week about how much we miss each and every one of you and being with you in person and seeing your smiling faces and hearing your stories and getting your hugs. Um, but it's so true. I wish we could be with you this morning and uh, we can't wait to be back with you as soon as possible. But until then, each week we're going to randomly pull a name from KidZone and give a personal shout out to that person. So today's random shout out goes to Judah Howard. So Judah, I hope you know how much we miss you in KidZone and something specific that I miss about you is how cheerful you are and how you bring that cheer with you each and every Sunday morning to KidZone with that big wonderful smile of yours and it's so contagious and I'm missing that each and every week and I hope that you feel missed and special this morning just like I hope you all feel missed and special because you are so precious to us, to all your coaches, to your teachers, to your assistants and to me. We miss you guys so much and can't wait to be with you again in person. We hope you enjoy today's lesson on joy. What's up everybody, my name's Kirk. I'm super excited that you joined me in Connect today. One of my favorite things that we get to do in Connect is worship God. We're gonna do that right now, so let's go to Connect HQ. Guess what time it is, do you know? It's time to connect to God together by singing and moving to music. Even though sometimes I may not feel like dancing or singing, it's not about how I feel. God deserves all of our worship all the time. He deserves our best. He deserves all of our thanks. So get up and let's connect to God together. This life is a journey, a path made for me with every step I take. As I run this race, I'm becoming the person you call me to be, a child of God, a life redeemed, so I set my eyes on you, Jesus, I'm ready, I'm ready to go, where you lead, where you lead.
I love worship so much. We have a point that we need to learn today. I'm gonna say it. I need you to repeat it after me. Here we go. Lots of things might make me happy, but only God can give me joy. Fantastic. So we're gonna be looking for that point today as we go to Connect HQ. Here we go. Hey, Alyssa, you're looking sharp in your new uniform. Hey, thanks. What are you holding? It's a camcorder. I picked it up at a garage sale earlier today. It's a little glitchy, but it mostly still records videos like a charm. Now I can recreate all my favorite 80s TV shows. Good luck with that. It's the Connect HQ Show. Starring Captain Alyssa. And Tony. Directed by me, Mike. I'm Captain Alyssa, and this is the time we learned about joy. How long are you gonna keep recording us there, Mike? Until something interesting happens. Well, that could be a while. We haven't had any field office calls or postcards today. I can wait. Interesting things always happen here if you give it enough time. Fair enough. What is it? <gasps> Who is it? It's an email from Captain Ray! Didn't she tell you to just call her Ray from now on? I do, when she can hear me. What did she say? Um, she said, Dear Connect HQ, a few months ago I moved away from my friends and I really miss seeing them and spending time with them. I've tried to do a few things here that make me happy, but I still feel sad from time to time. Can you help cheer me up? Signed, Ray. Ah, uh, I miss Captain Ray so much. We all do. So let's think of a way we can cheer her up. What is the best way to make someone happy? Well, I'm sure there's a Bible link in the archives that deals with happiness. Good idea. And I think I know the perfect one. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. Second Samuel. A long time ago, there was a box called the Ark of the Covenant. It was a holy box that contained items that reminded people of God's faithfulness to them. God's power surrounded this box. Moving it from one place to another required extreme care. King David decided to move the Ark to Jerusalem so that he could keep it safe. He gathered 30,000 of Israel's best men to move it. They loaded the ark on a cart and pushed it all the way to Jerusalem. While they moved the ark, David and the men celebrated with all their might. As they traveled, they made a joyful noise to the Lord with all kinds of noisemakers. As they brought the ark into the city of David, the streets were filled with shouts and the sound of trumpets. King David was so excited about the ark's arrival in his city that he was dancing in the streets in his underwear. His wife, Michael, saw this from a window and was unhappy with David's leaping and dancing before the Lord. David put the ark of the covenant in the place he had designated for it and went home. When he got there, Michael was waiting for him. She was disappointed and angry. 
she told David that the king of Israel should know better than to dance around in the streets in his underwear. But David was not embarrassed. He told her that he was dancing for the Lord. He said it didn't matter what he was wearing. He would celebrate and be happy before the Lord. He didn't care what anybody said or what other people thought. King David was so happy that he couldn't contain it. He had to dance and celebrate all the Lord had done for him and his people. David was so happy that the Ark of the Lord was coming safely to the city, he couldn't hold back. He had to dance and praise the Lord so everyone could see and hear. That's one reason I love being happy. I can share my happiness with everyone around me. That's what we should do for Captain Ray. Let's think of the things that make us happiest and share them with her. Oh, we could use my camcorder to record the things we choose and send her the video. Yeah, I, I really like that idea. Um, but I think it might be easier if we use maybe the drone or one of the tablets or even our phones. Or we could use my camcorder. <laughs> I think your camcorder will be fine, Mike. Now, are you two ready to make this happen? I'm in! Um, Tony, do you know what you're doing with that camcorder? I haven't held one of these since I was a kid, but I think it's coming back to me. The giant book of world records. You said it. Nothing would make me happier than to set a new world record in something. You don't know what you want to set a record in? Well, I've tried a few things, but no luck yet. I was hoping you guys could help me pick a new world record to set. OK, how about the largest collection of clown-related items? That sounds creepy and expensive. Next. OK, how about most consecutive one-handed back handsprings? You know, surprisingly, I'm not that springy. Next. This is it. What is it? Most gummy bears eaten with a toothpick in a minute. That's an actual record? That's perfect. I'm so excited. The current record is 31 gummy bears in 60 seconds. Do you think you can do it? I've been training for this my whole life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You got this, Mike. Okay, you got this. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Oh, you missed one. You missed one. Oh, use both Don't two picks. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. So how'd I do? By my count, you ate 27 gummy bears. <laughs> That's not bad for a first go. All right. So let's regroup, and then we... Or we could just give it a rest on the gummy bears for a while. I never thought I'd hear you say that. There might have been a few sugar-free bears in that batch. They're not easy on the old stomach. <laughs> Still, you did a great job, Mike. Thanks. I had a lot of fun. You know what? I just remembered a verse that talks about happiness. Will you say it with me? Sure. Okay. It comes from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 13. Say it like this. James. 5.13. James, 5.13. Are any of you happy? Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. You should sing praises. Anytime we're happy, we should remember to thank God for all he's done for us. Well, in that case, God, thank you for everything that you have given me, including gummy bears and friends who are willing to cheer me on as I break world records. Amen. Great prayer, Mike. Thanks. All right, now, Tony. What? Hmm? Well, it's your turn. What makes you the happiest? Well... Are you sure you know how to use that thing? Of the two of us, which one remembered that tape is a thing that camcorders need? You. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, well, what do we have here? Well, this might surprise you, but whenever I was a kid, I wanted to be a magician. Nothing about that is surprising. Oh, really? Literally nothing. Oh, okay, who knew? Um, well, uh, I've been practicing some tricks again, and doing them make me really happy, so I thought I could share those with Captain Ray. That sounds like a great idea, Tony. Well, let's see him. Okay, uh, give me just a second to get set up. Can you turn around? 
Okay. All right, right. Pick a card. Pick a card. Yeah. All right. All right. Now put it back in. And Kazuma. Mm. <gasps> oh! <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. You just cut it right here. Up, up, up. And it's. Oh! Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And it's magically. It's back together! All right, and for my final trick, gotta use my magic hat. Are you ready? Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's empty, right? Yeah. It's empty, right? Yeah. <gasps> Flowers for you. That was so good! I have to admit, you've got some skill. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Do you ever feel like you missed your calling? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I, I, I like these smaller tricks, but the bigger ones are a little bit too much for me. I was hoping you weren't gonna try to solve Mike in half. <laughs> no, 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 I wound up exactly where God wants me to be, here at Connect HQ. As a matter of fact, that reminds me, I actually have something I wanna praise him for. God, thank you so much for bringing me here to Connect HQ. Thank you so much for the chances that we have to help people and show them how much you love them. Thank you so much for all the things that you do for us, amen. Aw, that was really nice, Tony. I think Captain Ray is really gonna like this. Well, hey, now that I'm done, you know what that means. Alyssa, are you ready? Do you feel better now that you have your camcorder back? So much better. Hey, are you gonna build something? Nope, we're not building anything. Ooh, are we gonna start an indoor bonfire? I don't actually have to answer that question, do I? No. Well, then what's the board for? Well, for the past few months, I've been taking karate lessons. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you tell me? Why haven't you invited me? What's so cool? At first it started as a way to exercise, but now I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. So you're gonna break this board. This is awesome. I'm gonna try to break this board. I've been a little scared to try it in class, but I think for Captain Ray, I can face my fears. Absolutely. <sighs> I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. You got this, you got this. You got this. We're okay. gonna, it's okay. here. Yep. Okay, okay. Break it, ready? Break okay. it, break it. No, I can't do it. You I can do it, you can do it. She can do it. You can uh, do it, you got this, you got this. Come okay. on, Alyssa. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna do it, okay. Let's just go break it. Karate chop. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, that was so cool. Captain Ray is gonna love watching you break this board. She's gonna be so proud of you. I think so too. Which reminds me of something that I need to praise God for. God, thank you so much for my friend Ray. She has such a big heart for everyone she meets, and she's such a great example for me. Thank you for the joy you've brought me and bringing her into my life. Amen. All right, that's it, mission accomplished. We've each recorded something that makes us happy. I'm positive Captain Ray will be happy too once she sees everything we've done. Guys, I think we've been thinking about this all wrong. What do you mean? Well, Captain Ray said that she tried all these things that make her happy, but she still feels sad sometimes. Well, just wait until she sees the videos we've made. They'll definitely make her happy. I'm sure they will, for a little while. But that kind of happiness doesn't last forever. I think Captain Ray needs joy. There's nothing better than the feeling God gives us when we're thankful for who he is and all he's done for us. And no matter what, joy never leaves us. Exactly. The prayers we said today, those are the kind of things that we can do to give us joy that lasts. So can singing and dancing for God, like David did in the Bible. That's right. Lots of things might make me happy, but only God can give me joy. That's a great point, Ling Tony. Lots of things might make me happy, but only God can give me joy. So how do we share that joy with Captain Ray? I think I have an idea. Hi Ray, Alyssa here. And Mike. And Tony. We all miss you so much, and we want to do everything we can to cheer you up. So first, I have a verse I want to share with you. Say it with me like this. James 5, 13. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. God has done so much for all of us. Whenever you're feeling happy, thank Him for all He's done and share that happiness with others. 
That's what David did when the Ark of the Lord made it back home safely. He was so happy he couldn't hold back. He had to dance and praise the Lord and share his happiness with everyone around him. Feeling happy is great, but happiness doesn't last forever. That's what makes joy so important. When we remember all the ways God is good and praise him for everything he's done for us, he gives us a joy that won't leave us. So no matter what you're going through, don't forget, lots of things might make me happy, but only God can give me joy. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. See, how did people take selfies? Call Ray. Best five bucks I've ever spent. God can give you joy that lasts no matter what's going on in your life. And guess what? You can have God's joy right now. All you have to do is make Jesus your leader and number one friend. Do you want to make that choice? All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust. If you made that choice today, I am so proud of you. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult to learn more about it. We're gonna say our verse right now. I'm gonna say it, I want you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. James 5.13. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. Fantastic job, I know you did a great job. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a praise party right now. Like right now, like I want you to grab the people around you, wherever they are, and if there's people that aren't watching this video, you grab them too and you have them come in and help you. We're gonna take turns sharing something good that God has blessed you with and celebrate with each other after each turn. Got it? We're gonna do a praise party right now, so I need you to pause the video, and then when you're done doing your praise party, hit play and come back to me. All right, we're gonna pause in three, two, one, pause. Woo, that was a fantastic praise party. There's so many things that you can praise God for. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had fun, I hope you had fun too. We're gonna to put some questions on the screen for you and your family to talk about. I will see you later. all about joy and about how happiness is temporary, but the joy that's found in Jesus will last forever. We provided an activity for you to do with your parents this week, and that link can be found in the notes or if you're watching on YouTube in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining us, and we can't wait to see you back again next week for a special Easter lesson.